coming up on the sports desk. Local high school rivals team up to show the world what Torrance baseball is all about. Plus, the best time of the year is here. Area football teams get locked and loaded as the 2016 season gets underway. And did you know gymnastics was not just for gymnasts? Learn how these acrobatic feats can help you be a better you. All that and more coming up right now. Welcome to the Sports Desk. I am your host, Byron Newsom. Not only can you catch me here, you can catch me on Instagram and Twitter as well, at Byron Newsom TV. Send me your videos, your pictures, everything. Show that school spirit. Now let's get this party started. Now, Major League Baseball has hit the home stretch. Teams are fighting for position with only a handful of games left. They will need their pitching to be on point. They will need their batters to make contact. And they will need to come together as a team like our local high school baseball players did. Top players from Torrance, North, South, and West High School put their differences aside to show the world what we can do if we just work together. Message! The Torrance 15-year-old All-Star team captured their third Babe Ruth World Series title by defeating Atlantic Shore out of New Jersey 6-1. They went undefeated in the 10-team tournament that took place in Williston, North Dakota and captured their first title since 2008. Now, a lot of players from that Babe Ruth World Series team will probably go on to play baseball at the college level. And hopefully, they can follow in the footsteps of a couple of local players that have made it even further than that. Former North Torrance standout and Elko Warrior pitcher Dalton Erb was selected by the San Diego Padres in the 30th round of the 2016 Major League Baseball Draft. After playing with Elko, Erb went on to play at Chico State. The 6'8", 250-pounder had a 6-3 record with a 3.62 ERA and gathered 70 strikeouts in 82 innings. Also making it to the league from Elko, 6'4", pitcher Sean Isaac. Isaac was chosen by the Los Angeles Angels in the 35th round. He was a South Coast Conference honorable mention pitcher during his time at Elko and an All-Bay League selection in high school. Congratulations on what I hope is a long and successful career for both of you fellas. Now coming up next on the Sports Desk, a local gymnastics school develops more than just gymnasts at their facility. See how you can benefit and local football teams prepare for the upcoming season. See who is ready to win it all when we come back. We've all seen stories of conflict that ended with peace. We've seen stories of hunger end in abundance. We've seen stories of sickness end in healing. We see stories of fear, despair, and poverty, but they can end with courage, hope, and love with you. Together, with God's love, we are greater than hardship in the world. When we're united, we can overcome adversity and make a lasting difference for those who need it most. Be a part of writing a story that's greater than poverty and help communities give children hope for a brighter future. Learn how at worldvision.org. I see my friends out there getting waves and talking about them, and I know exactly what they're doing and what they're feeling and everything. It's like, it's hard. I was diagnosed when I was uh, 57. It was a surprise to me when they told me I had MS. It's like, you sure? Well, the idea is this is a uh, 360 degree virtual reality camera rig. Steve hasn't been able to ride a wave in way too many years, so now I'm gonna ride a wave and we get to share it with him. Well, we're gonna do something. Just put that on your head. Whoa. Oh, this is unreal. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Boom. Nice, nice. This is fantastic. Yeah, let me set it up and you get another set ride. Up. Let's do that again. If you are just tuning in, don't forget that you can see what the Sports Desk has been cooking all week long by going to at Byron Newsome TV on Twitter and Instagram. I'll be sprinkling your timeline with scores, stories, and all kinds of great ideas, so don't miss it. 
Another thing you don't want to miss is when you're in the city of Torrance, is a chance to go to the beach. Torrance is the city in the South Bay of Los Angeles County, and it has over a mile and a half of beach running along the Pacific Ocean. That being said, just about everyone here can swim. And if you can't, you might want to learn so you can be a part of this city of Torrance tradition. Over 60 years ago, Aquacade began. It's a water spectacle that consists of swimming and diving with musical accompaniment. And the city of Torrance has continued the event that happens every summer. This year's theme was Summer Jam's mixtape, Block Party Weekend. So kind of like you're listening to the radio and you're hearing all these really great songs that kind of take you back to a really fun time or some point in the summer when you're out with your friends and you hear a song and you're like, yes, it's time to party and have a good time. A really good time. And to be a part of this good time having synchronized swim team, many of the performers have put in years of work. I did swimming ever since I was three when I used to do ballet lessons over here. And I just I just kind of go grew with like how strong I was swimming because they moved me up really fast with the, all the positions and stuff. So then my mom decided that I should do synchronized swimming. So that's what I started doing. I've been swimming since I was like really little, but I got into synchro swimming um, because me and my group of friends all wanted to try something together, so that was really fun. And just like any other sport, members of this sink or swim team learn skills that can take them anywhere. And I think it really teaches them how to be an individual, but also how to work in a team, which is also important for so many other aspects of their life. To find out how you can be part of Aquacade next summer, call this number or go to torrentca.gov. Now let's dry off a little bit and take it inside to a local Torrance Gymnastics School. Flight School Gymnastics is teaching its students more than just how to flip and turn. And according to some of the students, no matter what your goals are, this school can help you reach them. Just a few weeks ago during the Rio 2016 Olympics, the United States gymnastics team made getting the gold look easy and fun. So much fun that a local gymnastics school in Torrance felt the effects. Our enrollments have gone up because people are thinking, wow, gymnastics is such an awesome sport that they saw how great the final five were and what great girls they became, not just, not just gymnasts, but young ladies and great people. And we, I think a lot of that comes from gymnastics. Suzanne and her business partners do a great job to provide an atmosphere where students will not only learn gymnastics, they actually enjoy themselves while doing it. The environment here is definitely like really fun and all the girls here are just so, so welcoming and so happy and all the coaches here are also welcoming and they're very helpful and the environment here in general is just amazing. It's definitely a place people would want to be around. Flight school gymnastics helps students develop strength, flexibility, balance, and many other skills that can be used in other sports as well. I do work with a lot of extreme uh, sports athletes. I've worked with Team Red Bull, Team Billabong, uh, Nike and Hurley, uh, training some of their surfers, uh, skaters, bike riders. So it's been nice. I've been able to kind of share what I've learned and uh, work with them. Aside from the many physical benefits, Gymnastics has helped these young ladies in their personal development as well. Definitely taught me hard work, dedication, um, putting all of your time into one thing and just being the best you can be at it. The co-owners Suzanne and Chris say that enrollment has surpassed their expectations and they are looking to continue to grow even more over the next year. Go by, call, or email them to find out more information about joining. Now, speaking of joining, how does it feel when you join something that you have always wanted to be a part of? Maybe you wanted to be in the theater department at your school and you finally did it. Or maybe the book club, or on the debate team, or in the chess club. Well, sports reporter Julie Villanova tells us about a group of junior varsity football players at North High that are waiting for their turn to join the big boys. Not every great athlete climbs right to the top. Being great requires hard work and dedication. The junior varsity team here at North Torrance High School understands what it takes to make it to that next level. Football season will soon be in full swing. What most people don't look at is the team behind the team. 
including the junior varsity players who are working just as hard to make it to that next varsity level. Like That's like our mindsets right now because we don't get that much reps. But we need to work harder during conditioning, do our best, and just, I mean, it's the little stuff, you know, watching videos uh, on YouTube, you know, talking to people. It's just the little stuff like that that's going to make us better for varsity next year. The JV team splits up practices by practicing alongside their varsity team. JV head coach Jose Serrano says that leading by example is one way the varsity squad is able to help out the younger guys. So how they practice, how they condition, how they carry themselves in the classroom, are they a leader, what kind of words they say, things like that. So they can study their actions and just become like them in, in every sense of the word. The junior varsity team is not meant for slacking. It is set in place as a stepping stone for the next level. V is pretty much a stepping stone from freshman to varsity, and, and that's all it is, it's a middle ground. So you have to realize a lot of the kids are young, inexperienced, and it's almost like practice for varsity when you get to JV. And it's an important level, don't get me wrong, because I, my JV years that I played, it was only one, but it was, it was almost funner or more fun or as fun as varsity. So you just got to realize that all time counts. If you love the sport, you love the sport. And JV is just a big stepping stone. And it, it's still fun and it still matters. You can see guys out here get riled up. Coaches get riled up. We have to calm ourselves down as well. But it, it's more important than people think it is. North Torrance does not treat their JV team as anything less of varsity. These kids put in the same hard work into their daily practices to get them ready for the next level. Reporting for the Sports Desk, I'm Julie Villanova. Thanks for that story, Julie. And I'm sure some of those guys will be making an impact on the varsity squad sooner than later. Coming up on the Sports Desk, everyone is undefeated. Everyone has a chance. Watch as local high school teams get ready for the long ride into the 2016 football season. Take a quick break and come right back. You will not want to miss this. Carly, I'm 15 years old and I am a heart recipient. I got my first heart transplant when I was one and a half years old. I got my second heart when I was 13. When I get my driver's license, of course I'm gonna say yes to be an organ donor. I've been saved twice, so who says I can't save somebody else? This gift of life was made possible by an organ donor. Imagine what you could make possible. Sign up as an organ, eye, and tissue donor. Go to organdonor.gov. You're going to need me. You're going to need us. All of us. You're going to need our technical skills, our math, our engineering skills. You're going to need our help with your water, your air, your food, you're going to need our organizational skills, our problem-solving skills. You're going to need our determination, our honesty, our compassion. You're going to need the next generation of leaders to face the challenges the future will bring. And we promise we'll be there when you need us. It's about putting others first. It's doing your best at whatever you do. It's about being honest with yourself, with everything. It's all of these, it's more, it's commitment. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. Hey, welcome back. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's at Byron Newsom TV. Represent your school. Send your videos and pics, and we will get you on. <laughs> Can you smell that? Football is in the air, baby. And after losing all but one game last year, Ambassador High School's flag football team has added some pieces they hope will help add some wins to their season in the win column this year. In only its second year of existence, Ambassador High School's flag football team is back for more and ready to do a lot more in 2016. Definitely a learning experience. Uh, we improved throughout the year. Uh, got really close to winning a game, uh, but uh, two-point conversion was wrong. So it was, it, was, it was awesome. It was cool. It was exciting. Always competing is uh, what we wanted to do and uh, looking forward to this year with some new blood and some more experience. 
while getting better on the field is important, Ambassador High strives to push their students to another level. For us, excellence is, is, a big, uh, is a big part of our school. We're really focused on our kids succeeding in the classroom and on the field, and then maintaining their character. So character is essential. You can't have one without the other. And it will be that excellence and character they continue to develop that will help them do things this year that they didn't do last year. We started some games out last season really strong, had uh, a nice Hail Mary, it was really good. Um, and then I think our determination just went down. There was less intensity in, in practices and less focus. So um, this year we're just gonna focus on bringing the intensity and just doing the best we can. The whole team needs to band together and work hard together. It can't just be a couple guys working hard over here and a couple guys working hard over there. It has to be the whole team if we wanna win. Something that will happen if they keep their eyes on the prize. My goal was the same as last time, was to, 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 to compete, always compete, uh, put everything out on the field. If we win, that's great. Uh, I, thought, I thought, you know, for sure we were going to win, you know, all the games. And I, I still feel that way this, this year as well. Um, but just really want to put everything out there and uh, leave, nothing, leave nothing back. Ambassador High is a small school, but it is growing, and they will be competing in the Coastal 8-man Flag Football League this season. Now, surrounding Ambassador High, you have teams battling each other for league bragging rights. Four Torrance Area High School football teams help make up the 16 Pioneer League, and one team in particular has brought in a new coach that they hope will help them bring the title home. Sam Vargas has that story. It's a new era for South High football. For the first time in 13 years, the Spartans will have a new head coach roaming the sidelines. And there's plenty of excitement to go along with it. Uh, I love Coach Mishler. He's, he's great. Um, it took a little bit to get used to because it's a different program and stuff. But after a little bit, it was, it was good. It's awesome. He came into the program very well. Uh, all the guys love him. He's a, a great coach with the players. Uh, it's going to be a fun year with him. After spending the last 12 seasons as defensive coordinator for nearby rival North High, Matt Mishler will take over as South's leading man, and he has big plans for his inaugural season. You know, we're just looking to get better each and every quarter, uh, each and every play, uh, and hopefully we'll progress, and uh, as, the, as the year keeps going, you know, we're going to hopefully kind of compete for that you know, spot in Division Nine, that playoff, that's where we got moved to this year. So that's kind of what we're hoping for, kind of just to kind of hang around and kind of just get in that spot, but get better every game. Coach Mishler is known for his staunch defense. During his final season at North, the Saxons allowed just 11.6 points per game while posting an impressive five shutouts. Defense wins championships, a philosophy the new coach plans on instilling in his players. Last year at North, we had some really good players um, that really made me look better than I probably am. So. Um, but it's just, you know, it's this mentality and, and showing a new scheme and, and just getting them to fit into it and finding the right mix. Uh, luckily, these guys did some blitzing and stuff last year, so it's kind of been easier to put them into some of the things I want to do. Um, so that's been helpful, but just it's a mindset and just getting used to your system and everything like that. So He expects us to um, execute our plays and stuff, so he doesn't really expect many flaws, especially because of varsity. He expects it to be almost flawless, so we make sure we do it good every time. We focus a lot uh, on defense. We have, like, uh, we have some brand new schemes that we're running. Uh, it's going to be a fun year with them. And Coach Mishler, who was also an English teacher at North, says the thought of coaching against his former team and Saxon's coach Todd Croce is still very surreal to him. Just if I look ahead of it right now, it'll be different. You know, seeing the guys that we that you know a lot of our staff has joined me from North and seeing some guys we coached last year, it'll be different. The Spartans kick off their season against Lawndale, and as for that much anticipated reunion against North. Well, that game takes place on November 4th. Reporting for the Sports Desk, I'm Sam Vargas. Hey, thanks for that, Sam. Now, while the South High Spartans start the year with a new coach, the West High Warriors are looking to bring a new attitude and new mentality into their season. The 2015 season did not go as planned for the West Warriors, something coach Greg Holt remembers vividly. We were disappointed, to be quite honest with you, especially as a coaching staff that we lost in the first round. I mean, we lost to a good football team, but 
in Redondo, but you know we were up 21 to seven in the second quarter, and uh, at halftime it was 21-14, and I knew things would get a little tight. So disappointed that we lost that game. I didn't think that uh, you know that team just didn't come together quite as well as we thought it. Uh, you know we had hoped it had, had and uh, you know in the years past those teams did, and and you know it pays off when you got a little chemistry. So if chemistry is what they need. They seem to have plenty of it on this year's squad. From senior class, the sophomore class, the junior class, freshman, and we're all cool, we all get along, so I think that's gonna push us a lot more further. This group has been together for five, six years. We all did Pop Warner with each other. I came as a freshman and they just made me feel welcome and it was just a great feeling. We're all really close friends. We hang out on the weekends, it's just chemistry. Yes, the team is ready for action and the leaders, they're ready to lead. I've been all in, so pretty much just pushing myself to my fullest capability when we're running, try to finish as hard as I can, um, just be a leader so everyone finishes as hard as they can as well. And while the seniors lead the way, they will need the underclassmen to step up immediately. We got a lot of young guys. You know, we got a lot of young guys looking at the signals. We got young guys signaling. We got every, you know, everything's young. So, uh, but we have some solid guys in Drake and Shige and Ryan Shota. A linebacker and he also plays on the offensive line and uh, EJ and then you know everybody else just got to fill in. They have the coaching, they have the talent, they also have the confidence to make this season one to remember. Our offense is better this year just passing wise and then I don't know I just feel better this year than last year like we're in better shape I think. We had a real like tough conditioning program this year so I think we'll be good for our tempo this year. I think it will be better than last year, so hopefully that will get us going a little bit. While the West Warriors have some things to work on, they are starting to look like the team they want to be and are hoping to make some major improvements in 2016. Now, just 10 miles up the road, not even 10 miles, 10 minutes actually, another team is trying to bounce back after a dismal season. Sam Vargas tells us how the Torrance Tartars are putting forth the effort that they hope will lead to some positive results this year. Well, Byron, it's the day we've all been waiting for. Football season is back. And after a long off season, the players here at Torrance High are more than ready to get back to work. It's a great feeling. Uh, excitement's great, uh, team's feeling good, and offense is getting together, defense is flying to the ball, everything's feeling good. It's just a great feeling to be back here. Most of the guys are looking in pretty good shape. So it looks, it's looking good right now. The Tartars are led by veteran head coach Rock Hollis. Coach Hollis has been the leading man at Torrance for 24 years and still remains as enthusiastic as ever to be here. The whole idea behind coaching is you want to see these guys. You want to be around young individuals like this that are highly motivated. You want to inspire them to, to succeed. So it's really an exciting event for us every year. And while the coach has had a great deal of success during his illustrious career, He's also had to navigate through some occasional rough patches as well. Last year, we had such a win-loss dismal season. Um, but the guys, I'm telling you, nobody quit. Um, we fought right to the end. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's exciting. It's inspiring. It's, it's just something that just haunts us in the back of our head. Just use it as, as something to just keep uh, pushing us to get better. And we, ne we never stop thinking about it. But we're, we're, we're going to improve. Every day we're improving. This year, however, the team is a little older and more experienced. That, along with the addition of some exciting new transfers, has everyone around the team extremely optimistic and ready to return to their winning ways. All these guys are returning. I got a couple of uh, young guys that are uh, all league returners. I've got some additions that uh, have come in. I actually had a guy uh, transfer in uh, that's uh, 6'5", he's about 300 pounds. I had another guy transfer in, he's about 6'3", 300 pounds. So those guys we have to work in, but in the mix, oh my goodness, with the guys that are returning, I'm, I'm pretty jacked. We have a lot of returners uh, that played, that got their experience from last year. Last year we uh, we, we were growing, and now now we feel like we're, we're ready to take the Pioneer League. And despite the recent setbacks, if you ask any of these players about their coach, you will quickly realize there is no one else they would rather play for. He's a great coach. He's one of the best out there. He's like a almost like a father figure to me. He's just a friendly guy. 
a good personality, good person to be around. He's just fun. Coach Hollis is a wonderful coach. He he's he's a maniac. He he really puts spirit into into his players, and it really it really shows. It, it's gonna it's going to show this season in our, in our in our play. The Tartars kick off their season against Miracosta. Reporting for the Sports Desk, I'm Sam Vargas. The Tartars hope to improve on their three and seven record from last season, and the team is right in position to do so. <clears throat> now to the west side we go, where the Bishop Montgomery Knights reside. After a 9-2 season, the Knights are hungrier, more ticked off, and more determined than ever to undo the memory of last season's first-round playoff loss, something they say they will not let happen again. After a heartbreaking first-round loss to end last season, the Bishop Montgomery Knights are clear on what needs to be done this season. That's kind of our goal this year, to uh, not only win our league and, and get to the playoffs, but also get out of the first round and continue on the playoffs. A goal that seems more than doable with the talent this team has. We have some of our more dynamic players returning. We have a couple of CIF guys returning, uh, lots of all-conference guys that are coming back. Individual talent-wise, uh, you know, we have more coming back than we've had in a long time. As the late Johnny Carson once said, talent alone won't make you a success. Neither will being in the right place at the right time, unless you're ready. The most important question is, are you ready? And the Knights appear to be ready. Our aspirations are high. Uh, we want to go far in playoffs. We want to win. Uh, some of our seniors, we want to play after, co I mean, after high school and get that college level scholarship. So we're playing as hard as possible. You know, We're trying to make the best that we can do. Um, and we're trying to put on a show. We have that drive, man. Like We want it. Like, no one could lose the way they lost last year and not want it even more. Like, I know I'm not losing first round of playoffs this year. We're going far. And if we win first round, I'm thinking about winning it all. Bishop Montgomery, North, South, West, Torrance, and Ambassador High. I cannot wait to see what you do this season on the field. The sports desk is coming to your school, so be ready. But that is it for us this week. Make sure you tune in next time. We have got the Torrance sports scene on lock. From the little ones all the way up to the big ones. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Or sprinkle your school spirit on me as well, and I'll get you on. Keep rising to the top, Torrance. We'll see you next time.